My name is Chuck Parkin. I work for the Department of Fisheries and Oceans Canada in Kamloops. And I'm one of the people here that's helping, uh, helping the salmon under the situation with the big bar slide. And so right now my role in this program is working as the fish monitoring program uh, lead. And uh, this program is involved with looking at um, some radio telemetry work that's happening uh, below the slide at a couple of locations, as well as some of the transport activities that are happening right near the slide. One of the big questions that we have is, okay, for all these salmon that are migrating up the Fraser River, how many of them are going to be able to make it through the slide and, and then survive to swim all the way to where their spawning grounds are? And then also how many are going to be delayed at the slide? What, how long are they going to be delayed at the slide? And uh, then the ones that do make it through the slide, uh, some of them may not make it all the way to their spawning grounds, so we want to find out where uh, their last uh, fate is, you know, where they, where they pass away. Uh, so when we first capture the fish, uh, we'll, we'll do identify the species, and then we take some other measurements about how long, how long they are. We look at the condition that the fish are in, so we try to see if they're showing signs of stress. Some of them will have uh, some external signs of uh, little lesions, little red marks that are showing on the side of the skin, and others will have a bit of a white patch behind the dorsal fin in front of the adipose fin, and that's another sign of a stress-related disease that's coming into play. So we monitor that condition, uh, and then we apply the radio tags to the fish uh, downstream. And then after all that uh, work is done, the fish is released in the water, and then uh, we pay attention to the a uh, few cues about how fast the fish swims away and then we uh, rate its condition at the time of release. We also look at uh, some specific questions in and around the slide. So we've been applying tags far downstream of the slide before the fish are affected by it, but we've also applied some tags to fish right nearby the slide. And that's to try to increase the numbers of fish that we can use to monitor the passage on a weekly basis. Because as the water levels change in the Fraser River and as the water temperature uh, changes, the fish health is changing and the passage conditions are going to be changing, as well as the works that are ongoing throughout the, throughout the year to try to modify parts of the slide to provide passage. We want to have a system where we can monitor what's going on with uh, fish naturally. And then we've also been applying tags uh, to some of the salmon that have been air transported uh, above the slide to also monitor the condition of those fish uh, to see how many of them are able to uh, survive to the spawning grounds and what their behavior might be after they go through that experience.